and because he's done everything he could do. Now he's not. Halloran long wrister, he oh. scores! From way outside, Nick Halloran. Just inside the blue line, lets it go down the slot through a screen. It beats Gillette inside the far post, and the Tigers have taken a 1-0 lead on a power play goal with just over 28 seconds to go here in the first period. Well, Halloran's got a terrific wrist shot, and Peter, you were talking before the game started about what a sneaky good shot he has, and he showed it off right He'll there. send it back intended for Belpedio. It skips past him. Now Bradley races after the puck, gets it, spins around. Here it is Halloran. He shoots and scores. Oh, Halloran puts it between the legs. Oh, Ryan Larkin. Berg, Halloran, Bradley the forwards. Blumenshine and Farney the defenseman. Berg wins the draw, Halloran shot. He scores! Halloran off the faceoff! Puts it behind Blackard in overtime! The Tigers win it 6-5! Nick Halloran! Stride for Stroud of the ice so far with Duluth. Here's Halloran of the open ice. Halloran down that slot and a goal! Nick Halloran, we're tied at one! It's all you needed, a little momentum established after being down one nothing very early in this very important hockey contest. And once that's established, you're starting to put some things together. And as you saw here on CET, it's the rookie of the month, Nick Halloran, who follows the play and gets a shot off and finds the twine. Now, Nick Halloran, and how about this, Marty? Power play for the CC Tigers. Nick Halloran, one goal already tonight. Leads the team now this season with 12. Halloran skates up to the point, shoots it in a goal. Nick Halloran, his second goal tonight. The Tigers back out in front. I don't ride horses, but that looks like a Wild West thing where you had your gun cocked the whole time, just kind of sauntered to the left, to the left, and all of a sudden released. Knew exactly where you wanted to go the whole time as you probe. There's Halloran from up top. Once he got over to the far side circle, just saw the goaltender over the left shoulder. That's a nice peak of work for the second goal of the night for Halloran. Halloran dangles below the goal line right. Nick Halloran's been a very dangerous player tonight. Sophomore from Utah. Shot comes in from the point, rebound back to Halloran, and he scores. He was wide open in the right circle. All well, the Catamounts fortunate on the replay, but unfortunate bounce there as Halloran was wide open with a gaping net, and this time CC does take the lead. Mendel bats it down. Still in the Pioneer end. Mason Berg throws it in front, wide open as Halloran, he shoots and he scores. The point streak is alive for Nick Halloran. And the CC Tigers are back on top, two to one. Well, we talked about it, Connor, that icing. The Pioneers were able to get the puck out of the zone, but they were only able to change up two guys. CC had countered off the faceoff with their top line, and it's Halloran getting the Here's a shot, rebound, and they score! Tanner Gillette will want to have that one back. Couldn't handle the initial shot from Berg. And it's Halloran. And Berg who combine again. And once again, we're tied up at Beckness Arena. We've talked a lot about this top line for Colorado College and for good reason.